Ruthless and Hiccup. What's up, buddy? Okay, so I think I'm playing as Hiccup. If you guys do want to try out this game for yourself, there will be a link down below in the description. I believe it's available on Steam and also probably Xbox and PlayStation. Look at this place, Toothless. All that smoke we saw in the air didn't prepare me for that much destruction. Who or what could have caused this? Well, it looks like everything's absolutely burnt to a crisp. If I had to guess, it was probably a dragon, but most of the dragons are normally pretty good. Over there, bud, we've got a live one. Judging by his garb, he's not local. Hey there, are you okay? Do you have any injuries? Broken bones? I don't think so. Where, where am I? This is Haven Home. It was a dragon refuge. My friends and I built this place not too long ago. I'm Chief Hiccup of Burke, and this is Toothless, Alpha of all dragons. This is perfect. I'm Chief of Dragons. Hiccup is just Master of Dragons. Um, um, I don't know. I can't remember who I am or how I got here or what happened. Wait a second, who is this dude? Right. Seems like you might have taken a hit to your head during whatever happened here. Hopefully your memory will come back over time. Maybe you came from the same place as that dragon egg there. I've never seen anything like it. Have you, Toothless? Wait, that thing is like massive and it's purple. If a baby dragon comes out of that, it's going to be super big. Well, what's that you've got there? A journal? Looks like it's filled with scribbles. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 everybody chill. Uh, is that an earthquake? That didn't sound good. Come on, Toothless. We need to check on that roar. Astrid and Stormfly are out there somewhere and they might need our help. You stay here, uh, Scribbler. Yeah, Scribbler. That'll work fine until we figure out what your real name is. Uh, stay here and keep the egg safe, okay? I guess I can do that. Um, are you sure, though? What if whomever or whatever did this comes back? How do I defend myself, let alone this egg? So wait a second, I'm starting to think that I might be the Scribbler. Relax, you'll be fine. See those chests over there? They contain useful items like weapons and shields. Help yourself to whatever you find inside. Whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> There's a lot of smoke. Quick, grab that egg while the smoke screen is thick. Wait, did they just steal the egg? Bro, 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 bro. Um, what am I supposed to do? Hiccup and Toothless literally just left me and I have no weapons whatsoever. This man is wobbling away with my egg. They must be dragon trappers. So ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I am the scribbler. We are in Haven home and I need to go get that egg back. Not a problem for Beck bro, chief of dragons. Sweet, okay, we picked up an ax. We should be able to use this to slice off the trapper's head. Honestly, if you're stealing dragons, you deserve to have your head sliced off. And we also have a wooden buckler. That should be my shield. So it looks like we can jump around to dodge. Yo, we can slice. Slice, slissy, slice. Very nice. I'm gonna roll my way across the bridge and I will roll directly into this dude to kill him. Uh, while I'm rolling away, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to see another episode, definitely go ahead and tap like with your left elbow. If you do it correctly with your left elbow, the like button will turn blue. This man is running for his life. How is he so strong? Luckily, he's not going that fast. Also, we have a ship. Hello, ship. I will not kill you. Even though I just tried to, I will not do it. Where is this man's going? Wait a second, I see a dragon. That might be a terrible terror. Also, at some point in today's video, I'm pretty sure I'll be morphing into a dragon. I don't know exactly when, but I remember I watched a couple trailers and that seemed like it was going to happen. All right, so I could slice these. We got, we picked up some flowers. Maybe I could turn the flowers into stuff that I can use to tame dragons later on. Okay, it says herbs and ores can be used to purchase tonics, buffs, upgrade weapons, and craft new armor throughout the game. So it's basically just like cookies, or it's just like coins and currency. Okay, so we can keep track of it throughout my entire inventory. Ooh, I found a chest over here. Okay, we need to move fast though. That bearded buffoon is running away with my dragon egg. Even though technically it's not my dragon egg, but I have a feeling that if I can stop him, I might be able to keep it. Okay, we might need to dodge over this. Oh my gosh. Bro, who's setting up booby traps? Okay, we can also put up our shield. I'm guessing that somebody's gonna shoot me. Yep. Okay, the shield actually worked perfectly. If I had to guess, the trapper is going back to some sort of trapper ship. Well, this way's blocked off. Hello? Oh! Well, that's- wait, where's the dragon egg? I guess this must be one of the other trappers. We're probably gonna try to sell the dragon egg if I had to guess. So I'm gonna need to take this dude out. What's up, dude? Oh, nice try- oh, wait, he actually kind of damaged me a little bit, but that's okay, now he did. Where did the next one come from? This man's where- is this a bear? I'm fighting a bear? Nah, 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 I did not sign up to fight bears today. Get back, bear. I think it might be a human in bear form. I don't know, I don't remember bears from the series. All right, you will die. You will perish before Beck Bro Champion. He, he does have a shield. Luckily, I am way quicker, more agile, and uh, yeah, yeah, 10 times more handsome. Watch out for the flashing red indicator when enemies attack. These attacks cannot be blocked and will need to be dodged. So this man has got a big hammer. He's got muscles on muscles, but when you have muscles on muscles, your brains are just... Okay, never mind. He's gonna kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Stop. Stay back, dodge. Okay, for big guys like this, without the brains, but the brutes, I'm gonna need to hit them and then dodge away. Oh my gosh, his swing was so slow. Go ahead, swing. I dare you. I dare you. Get concussed. Poke, dodge. Poke, dodge. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. 
They stand no chance against Beck Bro Cookie Man. I am honestly surprised that this dude has been able to run so far carrying a giant dragon egg. His other trapper friends have definitely slowed me down quite a bit, but wait a second. There it is. But where's the guy that was holding it? Oh, are you serious? Nah, I, I definitely shouldn't have fell for that. It was way too easy. Okay, so they're not actual bear people. They are people in bear costumes. This makes a lot more sense. Mel Meldoy said, take it up with the pale poacher. He tells us what to hunt, not why. Now, where is that Titan wing dragon you rode in on? Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't ride any dragon here, did I? Well, I don't really remember much. Wait a second. Wait a second. What is going on? Wait, wait, the egg. It's moving. Yo, yo, yes. What is this thing, dude? It's so cute. Yes, dude, it just hatched out of the egg. Wait a second. It just blew the cage right off of me. Odin's blood, what kind of dragon is that? He doesn't look like any kind of ice dragon I've seen before. They keep asking me questions. Who's this peril poacher and why is he after the dragons? I have no clue. I might need to fight these guys. Wait a second. They just ran away. They didn't even mess with Beck Bro Chief of Dragons. That's right, nerds. Catch you later, losers. Well, guys, we've done it. We have rescued the baby dragon. And literally, Toothless and Hiccup come right at the perfect time? I guess, I guess, yeah, it, it, it makes sense, okay? I'm not gonna try to argue their logic. They were obviously busy. Scribbler, is that you? Toothless and I saw an explosion of fire, ice, and lightning and came straight away. Honestly, we weren't expecting to find you and uh, who's this little one? Well, he kind of hashed out of the egg. Wait a second, Hiccup's never seen this type of dragon before. Oh, wait a second, it's a chimera. So a chimera is basically a creature that's made up of a bunch of different types of uh, different creatures. So I actually remember that, but I can't really remember my own name. How hard did I get hit in the head? Well, it seems like Toothless really likes the Chimera Dragon. Oh, we get to pick a name for our dragon. Oh, uh, I guess I don't really get to pick a name. It's just going to be called Patch. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys like the name Patch. Wait a second. I think I'm trying to tame Patch. Please, don't aim me, little buddy. Oh, my gosh. Wait a second. He's so cute. It worked. Oh, that was really easy. So it looks like we're heading back to camp now, but there's been no sign of Astrid. Wait, we got a message. Dear Hiccup, if you would be so kind as to cut short your wee flight of fancy, perhaps we might trouble you to return home uh, before Burke gets buried in dragon dung. Uh, our village is completely overcrowded with all your rescues. Uh, if even so much as one fireworm lands here, the entire island will collapse under all the weight. And I thought you and the knife fury of yours used to shirk responsibilities back when you were my apprentice. Hurry back, chief, and do something, you know, chiefly. Well, I guess Hiccup's gonna head back home. <laughs> He's leaving me. Honestly, it's fine. I am the chief of dragons, so it's gonna be okay. I know exactly what to do. I got the brain power to do it. Well, Patch, it looks like it's just kind of me and you. Wait a second. I can go and play as Patch. No way. Wait, okay. So it looks like I have a couple different attacks. I have one basic one right now that's just like an ice shard. And I can also just go to sleep. <laughs> I can just play dead. <laughs> Oh, I can also roll in a little ball too. That is adorable. All right, we need to figure out exactly what to do next. I don't really know if I'm gonna play as a human being. I am definitely gonna be playing as dragons. So by looking on the map, it looks like I need to go up towards the top. If you guys see, there's a little tiny map with a circle on it, and that's my new objective. Wait a second, there's something glowing down here. Okay, so we need something to activate the statue. Can I maybe breathe on it? I'll have to come back later. In the meantime, we will just need to tumble roll our way all the way to the objective. <laughs> this never gets old. It doesn't really look like we can get by, but yeah, uh, maybe I can freeze the water? Here, let's try it out. Oh, it works! Wait, can we go this way too? Oh my gosh, I can freeze all of the water. Yes! This is insane! Oh, there's secrets! I knew there would be something over here. Okay, so it doesn't look like I'm able to open it as a dragon, probably because I don't even have thumbs. What I can do is morph back into Beck Bro Chief of Dragons, and I just found 100 flowers. Okay, so I just figured out that if the attackers defeat Scribbler, then they will basically steal Baby Patch. I can't have that happening. And also, Baby Patch is way too tiny to even get attacked by the Dragon Trappers. But I think the best bet is probably to take over as Beckrow Chief of Dragons, and then I can just simply attack and dodge while Little Baby Patch freezes the Trappers. Oh, no. Back up, boy. Back up, boy. That was easy. Oh, we got some armor. Nice. I should also probably drink a health potion too. I wonder why there's so many trappers here. It doesn't make any sense unless they're maybe trying to trap a dragon. 
Well, if that's the case, as Chief of Dragons, it is my duty to stop them. All right, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm kind of taking a lot of damage here, and people are throwing things at me. Oh my gosh, we have Tomahawk Lady. Tomahawk Lady, this is very rude of you. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Patch, do your thing. Okay, I only have one health potion left. I definitely need to start using my shield more. I need to kill this lady first, dude. She does so much damage and she dodges left and right. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not dying here. I'm not dying here. Not today. Okay, I need to somehow lure these guys down. Come on, one down. Okay, yes, I can use this as a shield. Another one down. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Patch, now is definitely the time to freeze this lady because she is an absolute ninja. Okay, I got her locked in. No, I don't. No, I don't. I thought I did. Okay, she's running. Here we go. Okay, I have her locked in this corner. We got her. But that was insane. And we got an extra health potions here. Wait a second. That's a trapper ship. We need to get down there ASAP. There's another tomahawk lady, dude. These people just don't stop. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. No dodging. Okay, good. Wait, she's frozen. I'm kind of stuck down here now, though. Wait a second. I kind of just ran right past them. I guess that works. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's gonna... Okay. Die, 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 bear. I think I'm probably gonna get shot by something here. Okay, no. They go that way. Oh, okay. I really hope I'm going the right way. I think I... But also, these guys just keep going crazy. I'm gonna see if I can just run right by them. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Take that back. I will not be running by them. I will be dodging my way past them. Wait a second. What is this? That dragon's filled with some sort of poison. Free the dragon by destroying the orbs. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. So the dragon. Okay. Dragon trappers seem to have put poison on the dragons in order to have it be under its control. And I also definitely should have killed these guys first because they are all currently surrounding me. I really need to get some sort of range attack here. Okay. I took down the last of the bear peoples. Okay, looks like if I just attack and dodge, it seems to work out very well. This thing is pretty slow. That's right. That's right. That's right. Stop it. Oh, wait. It's frozen. Yes. Here we go. Okay, wait a second. We took down one of the orbs. Okay, we took down another one. I don't think I was... Was I supposed to kill it? I'm going to try to just break the orbs around it. Okay, I just... I kind of knocked it out for a second. I'm going to attempt to kill the orbs around it. There we go. Another orb down. And we killed all of them. I think we freed it. Did it work? Yeah, it flew away. Are we safe? I think we still might need patch in order to get all the way past here. Okay, looks like the gate dropped down. Wait a second. We went into some sort of dungeon with ruins. I don't think I understand all of the different engravings. Somebody mentioned Bork the Bold? Dude, where are we going? I don't really know if we should go forward here. All right, well, I guess me and patch are going forward. Uh, I don't know if this is what I should do here. Would you look at that? There's another lever. What did this one do? Okay, this one actually opened a door that I can walk through right now. I'm gonna morph into the dragon patch and we're gonna head through. Hello, and by home? And by got cookies in here? Wait a second, I see another lever up there. Wait, there's another door up here too, dude. There's just, wait, there's another door there? Okay, wait a second. This one looks like a giant puzzle. So that'll open that door, but I also want to check out the two other areas that we just found. Wait a second, I can go down here too? I am definitely going to get lost. Wait a second, I can open up a map, right? Okay, so it'll tell me exactly what room I'm in. And wait a second, there's a boss room. Ladies and gentlemen, stick until the end. You're not going to want to miss out on that. But for the time being, we're going to have to get through this entire dungeon. There's definitely a lot more to get through. So, okay, if we go over here to the left looks like this might be what is this place i need to make sure to break everything possible so that i can get all the different items and i can actually buy upgrades we'll open this little chest thank you very much now we can go through this one up here hello oh wait um how do we reach the switch oh wait a second i can morph back into patch and maybe we can use an ice blast it actually worked okay so it looks like it opened up an area to go to that next chest we gotta slice the boxes. Slice these. Slice those. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to the boxes. Well, now we can go through this door. Wait a second. What the heck? Do Wait, the spikes came up? There's trappers? Ben Hose, who are you two? And what are you talking about? Our boss isn't pasty-faced. We serve a dis different master, boyo, and she don't take kindly to trespassers. <laughs> who are these dudes? All right, Patch, we're gonna do your thing. You're gonna freeze them, and I'm gonna hit them with the... Yeah, what? Yeah! Oh my gosh, that's super effective. All right, one down, two down. Yeah, these trappers were garbage. Oh, but looks like the spikes went down, and I should be able to access this chest. Wait a second, we got ourselves a new weapon, the Archaic Hammer. Hmm. This hammer definitely has more weight to it than my axe, Patch. Well, we might as well go test it out over here. Maybe we can move this. Oh my gosh, it worked. So if there's any big things that I need to move, I can use my Archaic Hammer. Wait, I can charge it up too. What? That is sick. Wait, can I jump over there? Let's test it out. No, it doesn't work. Wait, but I might be able to morph back into Patch and let's see, can we freeze the area? No, it's a little bit too low. Oh, there's another area. Okay, so we can hit this down. And I wonder what happens if I charge it up. Okay, it only hits the one. Uh, yep, I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit cooler. What have I done? 
Oh, wait a second. Are we at the boss room? Let's see. Okay, this will lead us to the next area of the dungeon that will lead to the boss room. Uh, we just need to find... Okay, wait. We need to somehow get up there, which should be... Actually, it might be a little bit difficult. I was going to say, but there's spikes in the way. So somehow we're going to need to figure out how to get past the spikes, or we can come in from the top. So let's see. If I hit this over to this side, that should open that door, which should lead all the way up the stairs to the other giant boulder, so I can hit that down, and we can get to the next area of the dungeon. Uh... Uh, all right, so wait a second. Can I maybe stay here while Patch goes over? Yo, wait a second. That's amazing. I didn't think that he would actually stay. So no, I could stay here as Patch, and then I can go back to Beckbro Dragon. Beckbro Chief of Dragons, that is. And I could stand over here, and then Patch can go through the next area, and then we could just keep going back and forth until we conquer the dungeon. That's the type of teamwork you love to see, ladies and gentlemen. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, wait a second. I should be able to use Patch over here in order to use the Frost Breath ability. That should open the next door, and then now we should be able to get to that boulder. There's also a little secret door here. I want to check out secret door. I don't know if I actually was supposed to come here, but I'm going to try to charge up my mega attack. What? It's a one hit KO. That was so easy. Wait a second. What do we find here? It's a dragon. It's a terrible terror. Wait a second. He's been trapped down here a while. Am I able to free him? Can I just hit it? Oh my gosh, it actually worked. To my little storm, please accept this message as confirmation of our business arrangement. I tried to clean up all the dragon drool off of it, but may have missed a spot. Did you know your father tried to have me take a nap with the fishes on several occasions? Can't say I was a fan of his either, but nobody deserves what happened to him. I have no idea what this means, but... Who is G and I don't think that was sent from Burke. All right, well, bye, little dude. I'll, I'll see you later. I guess Patch is my only cool dragon that likes to actually do things with me. There's a lot of bigger cages here, though, so it's a good thing that I found this. Okay, we're gonna do this thing again. We're gonna uh, plop on there. We're gonna get the rock up. We're gonna go back to Patch, and now we should be able to roll our way to victory over through this door. Yes! Wait, what the flip is this? All right, if I stand over here, that opens up a brand new area. I can come over here. We're gonna smash the boxes. Oh, wait a second. That was actually perfect. Okay, so now that I'm standing here, I can go back and then we should be able to hit it with patch we're smashing this wait it's just a chest that's uh, that's flipping it i kind of want to okay well i guess that works all right so we're gonna have to bring beck bro dragon master back we'll have beck bro chief of dragons go this way and then i guess we could hopefully get the chest we got an extra health potion so it was actually pretty useful all right let's make sure that we bring patch along with us wait a second what are these things oh my gosh bro they can fly let's load up my mega attack three two one yo it's so cool are they dead i honestly all right they were just slowly falling out of the sky. I'm pretty sure I can cuss each and every single one of them. Break the backs. Break the back. Was it worth it? Yes, we made it. It was worth it. Okay, now we can hit that down. It looks like the spikes went away. And now we can smash our way to the pressure plate, which should open the dragon's mouth. I don't know why this reminds me of the movie Aladdin when the ginormous sphinx creature opened its mouth, let in Aladdin, and then he found the uh, mystery lamp. It literally looked nothing like that, but for whatever reason, that's what my brain thought of. All right, so we're gonna come down this way. I don't know if I wanna go directly down. Actually, I do, because there is a massive chest right in the center. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. I will gladly take whatever's inside. We have a... Wait a second. We just got an extra heart. What the flip? Oh, what is, what's going on? There's like five stones. All right, well, first things first. We're going to collect this chest. Step numero dos. We're going to need to figure out exactly what order to smash these in. So if I smash this, does it... No, okay. So I need to smash this one this way. Uh, actually, wait. We could smash this one down. That one smashes this one. So we can smash this one out of the way now. Smash this one down. We can smash this one all the way to this side. And last but not least, we need to smash this middle one all the way back up the middle. And then one towards this way. We have two doors. I choose the right door. Right door has never steered me wrong before. What are these creatures? Their mouths look like they're just filled with teeth, but I will smash them. Yes! Oh my gosh. They did so much damage to me. I'm gonna try this one more time. We're gonna go slow and then smash! How do they still hit me after? Well, I guess it's a good thing I got some extra hearts. We have to be close. Wait a second. We're in the final room. This is it. Wait a second. We're about to go into the boss room. Wait, who is this? Uh, hello? Lady? Uh, Sir? Uh, I'm... So I don't suppose you're friends with Hiccup and Astrid, too. Hardly, but I once had a dragon that looked just like your hatchling. He was a different color, though, and grew to be a broadwing. How is it possible that there is another? Surely G wouldn't have. Wait, who's G? I don't understand. So this person has seen a, a Chimera dragon before. She can teleport? What the heck was that? Okay, wait, wait a second. Where'd she go? Well, she left behind all of her things. Should I just smash them? I guess I'm just gonna smash. I'm gonna smash everything that's, so that she can't come back later and pick it all up. Lady, uh... 
Wait, Astrid? What, what's behind that door? Okay, Astrid says that the lady with the blue hair came through here and went up through the doors. I don't know what's behind that 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 door that she's holding back, though. Are there zombies? Are there dragons? Are there dragon zombies? Nah, 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 nah. I did not sign off for this. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch back to my axe. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be coming into here. What? Oh my gosh, that thing is huge! Wait, it has the poison around it! That's what's controlling the dragons! That's probably what she's doing experiments on. It definitely looks stronger. We're gonna need to be really careful here. It's a massive hot purple. Okay, it's completely under her control, so I need to be super careful not to accidentally get burned here. It's gonna do way too much damage. Let's see if I can even damage it. I can't. I can't do any damage. I'm gonna take too much. Wait a second, what are these up here? Okay, we're gonna have to morph back into patch. Let's see what these do. Oh, wait, am I supposed to do that? Wait a second, okay, so if I stand here. Oh my, nope, 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 nope. Wait, I have an idea. So, okay, I'm gonna try to lure it to attack. Yo, what's up, dude? Over here, look, I got cookies. I got cookies, buddy. Oh my gosh, that's a fireball. I got chocolate chip cookies. I have chocolate chip pancakes. I have chocolate chip muffins. Wait, it's charging up an attack. Okay, let's get Patch in there. Wait, it's charging, come on. Oh, it broke something. It knocked itself out. Wait, 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 wait a second. We're still in the battle here? Patch, get your butt off there. Wait a second, let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire? Are you kidding me? I need to be super careful here. Okay, we're gonna go in for an attack. Oh my gosh, I got electrocuted. Bro, I am way out of my league here. Luckily, I do have some extra health potions, so we're definitely gonna need to use those. Maybe I can charge up a mega attack. Let's go in for an attack. Oh, I got off a hit, let's go. One more hit, go for it. Yo, it does so much damage. Okay, we need to wait for her to get rid of all of her potion abilities, and then we go in for a Are you kidding me? She's going extra fast now. Okay, this is my chance. No, no. Come on. Oh, she let us go into quick farming. Okay, wait, I got off one hit. One more hit to do the trick. Come here, lady. Yes! One more! Come on! She was so close. This is the last one. We got her. Let's go! Wait, she's back? What the? This dude's back too? Are you kidding me? I thought we I thought we did it. I thought we had it. And then this thing just woke up again. This thing is massive though. Okay, so at least I know what to do this time. We're gonna go and we're gonna use patch in order to go on this thing. We're gonna need to get this thing to shoot me with a couple fireballs. Wait, it shoots two fireballs now? Oh my goodness. Not today. Come on, charge up the attack. Charge it up and dodge. Yes, it worked. All right, let's get Patch back. What's up, lady? You're losing this fight. Oh, wait a second. She's actually doing melee attacks now. No more range attacks. That's okay. Not the problem for Beck Bro Dragon, Chief of Dragons. Okay, would you just chill for like two seconds? Okay, that does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. That's right, Patch. There we go. Light her up with the Frost Breath. Okay, she's doing way more damage than last time. Oh, wait. I'm doing way more damage. Oh, we were so close. Where this lady at? What's up, lady? Oh, no, 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 no. You're, you're, oh, my gosh. You really... Oh, thanks. Yeah. Wait, don't get back up. How does she continually get back up? This thing just wakes up as soon as I defeat her. That's fine, ladies and gentlemen. We will prevail. I'm not worried about this giant, thick dragon. Even though it's big, its brain is very, very tiny. All right, so we're going to do the same exact thing here. We're going to put a little patch on there. We're going to lower the dragon into shooting three fireballs. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Can I use my shield, maybe? The shield does absolutely nothing. I just get absolutely destroyed. It's charging up the attack. It just completely missed. Yo, Dumbo! Dumbo, over here, Dumbo! Maybe I can hide behind this. Let's see. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm literally just gonna stand right here. Never mind, that kind of did not work. It's charging up the attack. I'm getting ready to dodge right at the end and dodge. Yes! Patch, get that cute little dragon butt down here. We have work to do. Oh, yes! There we go. One more hit. I'm getting good at this. All right, big boys back up. Wait a second, what happened? It flew away. It actually did. It flew away. We, we destroyed all the three poison orbs on the hot purple. Except the lady got away, so I don't know exactly where we're gonna find her, but if she has one dragon, she definitely has many more dragons. So it looks like we're gonna send a note to Hiccup with a little sample of the poison that was used in order to take over the dragon. We've also remembered that our home island is called Scriven Rock. We're still not entirely sure what the Titan Wing Dragon has to do with all of this. And I also have no idea where Patch came from. But honestly, I think we did a pretty good job there. Wait a second, something's happening to Patch. Uh, Patch, you good? You, 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 uh, little, little dude, you, yo. What? Patch just evolved. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is sick. No way. We just evolved Patch. Wait a second, can Patch fly? No way, no way. This isn't happening, I can't believe it. It works, come on! You can do a patch, come on, just a little bit higher. Yes, <laughs> yes, it worked. Oh my gosh, we can now fly on patch. That's gonna make everything so much easier. All right, look, it's Hiccup and Toothless. This is insane, look at me go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best thing ever. 
I've obviously flown on many dragons before, but I've never actually done it in a, in a, in a game like this. This is amazing. Uh, now we can also do a roll. What? And we can roll this way. We can try to stop as well, so we can hold in one single spot. Okay, let's go land back at the campground. We've made it back to Haven Home. We need to test out the new ability. Wait, I can switch between abilities. So we have an electricity ability. And would you look at that? We have Gobber. So I also just found out that Patch evolved into something called a Broadwing. That means that I'm actually able to fly between different destinations, but now that Broadwing, or I, I guess Patch, is a Broadwing and evolved, that means it can now take damage. So I'm gonna need to be super careful, but luckily Patch has extra abilities too, like the lightning ability. And we can charge it up! What? We can charge up the, the ice ability too! In today's episode, we're in the Valka's Mountain Ruins, and we need to work our way through all the puzzles to get to the boss room and save the dragon. Will we be able to do it? Watch until the end to find out. Smash! Oh god, okay, that didn't work. Smash! Alright, so we're gonna need to use our hammer in order to get through all these different puzzles. While we're buying some things from Astrid, I have to thank you guys so much for the support on this series. You guys are loving it, and this is honestly one of the best games that I've played in a long time. So if you guys do want to continue to see this series and also other games other than just Minecraft, please go ahead and smash like. I know I say that in literally every single episode, but every single time you guys are leaving a like, it helps the video so much in the YouTube algorithm and gets this channel closer to 1 million subscribers. My goal is to try to get this channel to 1 million subscribers before the end of this year. I don't know if we can do it, but I know you guys definitely can. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video. And the best part is, if you decide to change your mind later, it's completely free. Whoa, okie dokie. So we need to be on the lookout for cracks in the floor. Got it. That actually probably will help us. So I don't want to fall any further, but let's try to stand on this so we can cross over if we want to. But there's also a lever over here. Let's see if maybe that opens this door. Okay, it did. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I should go first. Let's go check this out. Maybe this is a secret room. Oh, wait a second. No. Okay, so this brings me back to the start. And can I just fall down? <laughs> I can just fall down again if I want. I don't take any damage, surprisingly, so that's good. Can I hit this lever again? No, okay, good. It's stuck like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand on this. I'm gonna swap over. All right, Patch, you stand on this one. That'll lower the spikes. And that should allow us both to get to the other side. Patch just looks so cute. She, <laughs> he's just chilling there. Let's grab this chest. Sweet 50 flowers. Love my flowers. Where are we at now? Wow, where did you come from, bro? Oh, this is a big boy. Wait, did he just throw down a turret? Are you, are you kidding me right now? Uh, patch, patch, patch. Careful, patch. Dodge. Oh, wait a second. He's stunned. That was my chance. Oh, we got him. Yes, game. I do indeed see the chest. This crossbow is literally facing the wrong direction. That dude did a very poor job of placing down his only defense. That's why he's a big pleb. All right, let's see what we got in this chest here. Hello? Hi. Oh, 125 flowers. I do indeed like my flowers. Plus, I can use them to trade for health potions and tonics. We're gonna roll our way up here. Oh, no. Okay, we have a chest. We also have those purple totems. So, 150 flowers too. That's pretty cool. But okay, okay, back to the totems. Do not get distracted, Jack. So, if I hit these, you'll notice that it'll activate random things. So, normally it does stuff with magnets. I guess, I don't know. These ones maybe are magnetized. I guess the spikes are magnets, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, so we lowered the first level of spikes, where there's still another side where we need to lower that level of spikes, and this dude is back? Are you kidding me? What is this? Did you just respawn? Alright, throw your turret. Okay, that was actually not a... Okay, never mind. You faced it the wrong way. I take back any compliment I was about to give you. You're so bad! You're so bad! You're the biggest pleb I've ever seen! It's literally just him. This is why nobody else is here with you. We're gonna charge up a mega attack, and... Yes! Well, your crossbow's dead, you're dead, and I guess he'll just continue to respawn? I don't really want to come back and find out. 150 cool looking rocks. I'll add it to my rock collection. All right, well, looks like we made it to the other side. These two doors are locked, so we're gonna need to figure out a way around them. It looks like, yeah, there's a path up there, but the only way to get to that area is through this door. Um, okay, we're gonna need to figure out how to get this pressure plate to stay down. So if I hit this one um, over in this direction, right? We'll hit it here. We can hit this one up, this one there. Okay, now that that one's stuck up there, we can hit this one around town, hit it down there, and uh, we're gonna boop it right up there. And yes, we have outsmarted the ice block system. Go big brain power. All right, cool, we're gonna roll up over these spikes. Give me my 125 flowers. Now we can roll our way through the door. All right, we have another pressure plate system. That's fine. Okay, Patch, you're gonna stay on this one. So there's more pressure plates, right? I think I'm gonna need to roll fast. Yes, that was close. Now we can hit this lever down and that'll open the door. 
We're doing it. Gonna need to make sure I, I go really quickly here again. Thank you. All right, Patch, you lead the way. So let's go through the door that we just opened. What is happening here? I am so lost. We need to check out the map. All right, consulting the map. We are on the right side. So the places that are lit up are the places that I've been. So it seems like that next area should lead to something back at the start that we're gonna need. Okay, there's a lever on that. Did it work? Okay, that'll lower that. And it also opened up the door. Hey, why was that so easy? I feel like it was almost a little bit too easy. Whatever, I'm gonna go through the flipping door. So this leads me, I think, yeah, almost back to the start, except we have this giant ice puzzle. We need to get the ice block down here. What happens if I hit this lever? That should open the door? All right, it opens the door so I can go down and I'm pretty sure that just should bring me down maybe after, I don't really know. We will figure it out. We're gonna bop you, bop you this way, bop you up here, hit a little bop, a little boop, a little lefty, go down, another little left. You. We'll go up and we'll see what happens when I hit you down. Hopefully that's what I was supposed to do. Let's see what happens when I go through this door. What's behind door number 17? I have no idea. Um, all right. Well, that was very basic. Okay, so I think it just, yeah, led me all the way back down to where I can hit this ice block. So it seems like we probably need this in order to get the block in the middle because with just one, we weren't gonna be able to do it. So now I should be able to hit this across and that is the first piece of the puzzle in order to get into the boss room. Now, I don't know if you guys can see in the top left hand of the screen where my health is, there's another area where we can hit the ice block down. I just need to figure out how to get to it. Let's see what happens if I hit this thing across. Okay, that opened the next door. We can go down this hallway and we are just completely trapped. Yeah, there's no way across. Okay, so we're gonna need to figure out. Okay, wait, let's actually go back and look at what room that was. I will use the tactics of memorization. Okay, so we are in that room. I need to figure out a different way to get to it and it looks like I've already done that. So we can go back down this way and it looks like this might lead me to another way to get into that big room. Okay, it does. So I should be able to use patches electrification ability in order to lower the spikes. And now we can go back down and get through. Let's see what's on the other side here. Oh, secret chest, yes. Very nice, 150 flowers. Another secret chest. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> A third secret chest, yes. <laughs> They're not even that secret. Okay, I don't actually know where I'm going. So this looks like the only way to go. So we made it back up here. I feel like I've kind of been here before. But if I stand up here, we should be able to use the lightning ability to activate this, which just opens the door. Wait, this looks like I can like charge something up maybe? Nope, nope, nope. They just, it looked really cool, but it did absolutely nothing. All right, well, we opened this door. So let's see what's behind it. Hello. Anybody have cookies in here? Nope, just 75 flipping rocks. By the way, if you guys do want to get a cookie, they're available over at beckbrojack.co. We just got a ship of about 500. And I mean, I'm perfectly okay keeping them all, but if you guys do want some, you can go buy some and use code Bassy for 10% off. But seriously, if you don't want them, I will keep them all. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Actually, wait a second. We're gonna push this one up top over to the side. That might open the chest. Oh, it does. Let's go. Don't mind if I do. I will gladly take some more rocks or flowers. 250 flowers. That's actually big money. Okay, now is there another ice block? No, okay, there's no ice block, but wait a second. I think this might be the last ice block. So if I hit it all the way across, right? Right? Yes, we can push it down and then we can get into the boss room. Okay, first things first, let's push it over here so we can get another secret chest filled with rocks or flowers. Excuse me, Patch. 200 rocks. I'll be definitely spending those on some prizes later on. There we go. Is it gonna open? It did, yes! Patch, we did it. Wait, I'm like, there's some spots that I've barely explored here. We'll have to come back later. It looks like we actually might be able to access some of them from the boss room itself. This is it. Let's see if we can go through. I think it worked. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what is that? There is a massive dragon that just flew above me. Um, we're gonna move slowly. Where? Oh my gosh, wait, there's another area. Ooh, what? Wait, what happened in here? Another victim? Okay, it looks like Astrid found a, a giant dragon. Wait, but she's here. Air is right through those doors. I feel so bad for the, what is that, giant gronkle? Oh my gosh, it's so big and cute. It's like a giant green booger. All right, well, we're gonna do what we have to do in order to stop this from ever happening again. I will save the day. Wow. All right, that is that is a big boy dragon. That storm cutter is under her control. I don't understand. Why is she doing this? We have no idea. She said that she had friends once and all they did was take what they wanted and leave her behind. She's lost too much already. This arm was taken from me during the great forever wing awakening on Nepenthe. But I actually feel kind of bad for her. But it doesn't mean that we have to fight each other. You are a child. You don't understand the way the world really works. You will lose everything eventually. Even that dragon that stands there by your side. Wait, Patch, 
Patch, whatever you do, do not leave me. I had a dragon once, a hybrid just like your patch, inspired by my mongrel origins. He was my greatest achievement. Then he was taken from me by someone I trusted. Wait a second, this is actually sad. I feel kind of bad for her, but we can help you. Like we're good people. He said, I don't think so. I'm done having everything taken from me. From now on, I will be the one taking things, starting with that dragon of yours. No, no, wait, whoa, 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 stop. Stop it, stop. Patch, whatever you do, do not go to her, even if she offers you a million cookies or a million dollars. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, good, Patch is still here. I thought she was gonna grab Patch and just dip. Okay, we need to free another dragon. But if we can do it, we can add it into our dragon army. Oh my gosh okay wait a second there's things on the side let's try to shoot these things let's see what it does okay so when the dragon's over here we're gonna need to try to hit it with the giant statue of the night let's see maybe i can damage it from here nope not at all oh can i, can I hit it oh my gosh i got so lucky there okay i need it to land okay wait it's landing right there let's try to hit it yes i feel so bad but we did it okay we got off one single hit oh uh, well hello there i thought you flew away okay that's a lot of damage bye where are you going oh i see you oh my gosh what are those there's so many let's go baby oh my gosh we're killing her get back here stop it stop it yes we knocked her out oh i smashed her on the head wait she's back up i don't understand how to defeat this person Yo, wait, there are giant ice blocks falling from the sky. This is insane. Oh, I just took a lot of damage there. I took a little bit too much damage, it looks like. Flip! Okay, before this battle, we're gonna try to actually upgrade ourselves. So we're gonna use this one, this one, and this one. That'll upgrade our speed, our strength, and our defense. Look how fast I am, baby. Let's go! No, 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 Hide, hide, hide. We made it. We're okay. We're fine. This is totally fine. Totally used to this. Yep. Definitely got this in the bag. What's gonna land right there? Let's make sure we're ready to hit it and attack. Yes, we got another hit off. I think it's working. Where is this lady? Lady, I do not feel bad about this at all. You're crazy. You're absolutely insane. Nice try. You can't you can't dodge this. You okay, maybe you can. I'm not entirely sure if it's working. I am literally lighting you up with every electricity ability that I got. That was the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. You're trash, kid. The dragon, on the other hand, is not trash and is kind of slightly terrifying. We're gonna hide behind this. Oh my goodness. No! Oh my gosh, dude! Somehow we 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 just got hit. We just died. But I guess Patch is able to revive Scribbler. Okay, let's uh, make sure that we're hiding over in this direction. We're gonna uh, also try to shield as much as possible. Don't die, don't die, don't die. We're safe. Oh, this doesn't look good. Okay, I'm gonna hide right here. Please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. Come on! Yes, we dodged it. This is crazy. Wait, the dragon's over there? Oh, did I get it? Wait, what's going on? Hello? Wait, she landed again. Oh my gosh, wait, we freed the storm cutter. Wait, she had a partner once, a pale poacher who called himself G. I made him tonics to control dragons whilst he would bring me the dragons I required for my experiments. Well, that's kind of crazy. One day he betrayed me, stealing my tonics, my research, and my greatest creation, a dragon just like yours. Your patch scribbler, your precious friend. I created a dragon just like him. Not born of nature, but of science. My science. I don't know how your dragon came to be. G must have found a way to repeat my process, but I will find a way to bend your patch to my will until we meet again. Wait, no, 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 get her! Somebody stop her! Well, she got away again. Great. Let's send everybody a nice little message that she got away and that we need to figure out information about the mongrel tribe, which is where she came from. So we still don't understand why she created chimera dragons just like Patch. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Patch is evolving! Oh my gosh, what? Wait, this is crazy. The dragon is... He's getting older and older way faster than I've ever seen before. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Wait, you're a Titan wing, a Titan wing who breathes fire, lightning and ice. Wait, that is insane. This is basically like the avatar version of a dragon. Oh my gosh, it has so much health now. This is insane and it looks so cool. What's up, dude? You seeing Hiccup at all? Oh, wait a second. I forgot. So we can go to Gobber to get upgrades. Let's try to upgrade our axe. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it worked. And let's also try to upgrade our hammer. It does so much more damage. And it looks like to upgrade them again, we're going to need some special god tier items. Wait, we can also craft them some things too. The shield looks amazing. It's made out of kite scales. So let's go ahead and try to buy it. Did I did I get it? Okay, let's see. Can I equip it? Oh, look at that. Okay, let's equip this one. Wait, this thing looks amazing. It's made out of the scales. I think a patch. Also, while we're here, we should probably use our flowers in order to trade for lots more health potions. I found Hiccup and Toothless. In spite of the danger she poses to dragons, I gotta confess that air impresses me to be able to create a new breed that shows a real understanding of dragons. 
I don't believe Air is evil. She's lost everything and been betrayed by those she trusted. She just believes that this is the only way to get what she wants. That makes sense. If you guys don't remember in the last episode, she used to actually have a partner and they would take over dragons. But for whatever reason, the Mongol tribe and her decided that they wanted to go evil and take over and they don't trust anybody. Hey, look, it's a new terror mail. Wait a second, who's this one from? Oh, it's Roughnut. Okay, looks like they have information about the mongrel tribe, which is what Air is from. Is it Air or Ear? I don't really know. I'm gonna start calling her Ear. Air had said that the mongrel tribe is a group of warriors that came from all corners of the world to practice hybrid vigor, crossbreeding between different groups to produce stronger and stronger dragons. Their king was killed by none other than Drago Bloodvist. Fortunately, King Stormheart's daughters, Nikora and Ear, escaped with their lives. Wait a second, so she's the daughter of a dragon. Oh no, she's not the daughter of a dragon, she's the daughter of a king of dragons. It's a little bit different. So it makes sense. Ear wants to have her own hybrid dragon, which is stronger than most normal dragons, in order to take over. And we also think we know where Ear is hiding out. Some place named Dragonvine. Let's go fly on Patch to the island to see if we can find Ear. The only way we're gonna figure out more information about Patch. Patch has been leveling up way faster than any other dragon. And if it keeps leveling up and getting older and older at this rate, it's probably not gonna last much longer. Oh, we need to fly to Bro Blood Briar in order to get some dragon vine. I have no idea where it is. Do we, do we have a map anywhere? I think this is it. This place is heavily overgrown. This will be our toughest test yet, Patch, but I know we can overcome it together. We have to, because if we do nothing, then your rapid aging could prove deadly all on its own. So this is going to be the only way in order to try to save Patch's life. Let's go fly around and see what we can find. I think we made it. Okay, let's land to the campground at Bloodbriar. Down we go. Good work, Patch. We made it. Let's go explore around a little bit. So we're on the lookout for Dragonvine and also Ears Hideout. If you guys see anything throughout today's episode that I missed, definitely leave a comment down below with a timestamp. Um, okay. It looks like we actually found some of the Dragonvine. There's no way to go around it, so, I mean, I guess Patch could fly, but for whatever reason, once we land on the ground, Patch doesn't really like flying. I guess he gets tired. Okay, so obviously, I can't get through it myself, and if I get near it, supposedly this is poisonous, especially towards dragons. So since Patch evolved in the last episode, we br have a brand new fireball ability. So let's see if we can actually use that. It's working. Wait, so it only works for a little bit of time before it starts to grow back, so I need to be kind of careful here. Okay, if we move fast past it, then we should be okay. Yo! Hey! <laughs> How am I supposed to get by this? This is a lot. Wait, 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 Patch, get out of the way. Wait, I'm taking damage from these. Oh my gosh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, not these things. Patch, please kill them fast. Luckily, I did upgrade my hammer and also my axe. So we do a little bit more damage now. Also, at the same time, I took way more damage than I wanted to. So let's heal up. This is definitely going to be one of our most difficult challenges yet. Patch, please kill. Please kill, Patch. Out of here, birds. Bird down. Yo, what's up with this giant pumpkin? <laughs> Why does it have spikes? Let's chop down this tree so that we can cross over here. Wait, what's this stuff? It's a thick fog that settles on the ground. If I remember correctly, fire can temporarily burn it away. Oh, uh, well, so I guess it's probably not a good idea to walk through that. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll morph into Patch. And then I guess we could try to just shoot it and light it up. Okay, so it looks like it does temporarily remove it. We also have to worry about these? Oh gosh, this place is awful. There's poisonous thorns everywhere. There's literally birds trying to eat me. Now there's poisonous fog around too? I mean, honestly, it makes a great spot for a hideout. Okay, we can use Patch's ice ability in order to walk on the water over here. I don't really see anything useful, but there's gotta be something, right? I think I see where we have to go. Okay, so we gotta go this way, but the problem is there are harpoons shooting everywhere. Get out of the way! Okay, what we're gonna need to do is clear the path first, and then we're gonna have to make a break for it. Oh, we just made, okay, okay. We're like kind of making it. Um, let's go see if this maybe turns them off. Oh my gosh, my dude literally keeps running into the, the stupid spears. All right, I think we maybe turned it off for now. We're surrounded by this fog though. I don't know if it actually does any damage. Let's go test it out. No, okay, so we just can't see in the fog. I see harpoons up here. Did we turn these off? I think we did. The next area doesn't look too bad. There's only a couple trees around. Uh, we have a little tiny bridge. Oh, actually two tiny bridges. Is there a way for me to like get past this without hitting the, the stupid pressure plate? I'm hitting every pressure plate. There's more? Where are these peoples coming from? Wait a second, okay. There were some dragons up ahead that were holding some of the poison. I'm not entirely sure yet if Patch can get taken over by the poison, but it seems like it works on every other dragon. So I need to be really, really, really careful to not let Patch get near any of it. Because if Patch does and I lose control, that's gonna be a problem. Duh, what the, what the, wake up, son. Oh, wait, wait, it just disappeared? Okay, we took down one. Let's take down one of these things as well. Okay, wait a second, we can actually free the dragons. Yeah, we freed both of them, let's go. Let's see if there's any more dragon trappers. Oh no, wait, there's 
one more dragon that's taken over. So it looks like they actually have the poison strapped to them, and they can't infect anybody else right now. Smack, dodge. Smack, dodge. Hunt, stop. Smack, dodge. I maybe got slightly poisoned, but it was worth it because we freed the flipping dragon. All on a good day is worth of work as Beck Bro Dragon Master. He's gotta fix these bridges. Oh, what's up, Astrid? Yeah, I'm gonna need some more health potions. I feel like I'm dying a lot. Thank you. This place is sketchy. Every single bridge is just busted up. You'd think they would take better care of where their main leader is hiding out. Oh, we have some more of the fog. Okay, let's switch back to patch, and then we can use our fire abilities. When in doubt, fireball out, ladies and gentlemen. That's the motto I live my life by. So if you're ever hungry, a cookie will help. A cookie a day keeps the doctor away. I, yep, that's, that's definitely how it goes. I remember from science class. Okay, we can use our electrocution ability in order to activate this, and then we can pull across the bridge. Now we can get by. Okay, this one, it looks like I'm gonna need to use the flame ability first, and then quickly swap over to the electrocute ability. And now the bridge should come up so we can get to the next area. Let's try to knock down this tree, and then we should be able to cross over. I think that's what we had to do. Oh my gosh, where are these things coming from? Slice you out of the air. I will indeed slice you as well. Just come a little bit closer. You, you did not come a little bit closer. Let's switch over to fireball ability. Fireball ability should be a little bit more effective here. It missed. It literally missed. Get away from me. Oh my gosh, they do so much damage. I do not appreciate this. Die. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, you little fickle pickles. All right, we took them out. Now we can go ahead and electrify this. That should take away the last giant metal cube. And now we're ready to beep bop boop our way down and cross the bridge. First things first, I need to pick up some rocks. Add it to my rock collection. Wait, there's so many dragon tamers here. They're not tamers, they're trappers. All right, I'm, I'm going it. Do not stop. Do not throw that. Get it out of here. I need to be extra careful here. This dude does a lot of damage, but luckily he's really, really slow. Oh, this guy was easy peasy. This dude's electrocuted. We took him out. That was the easiest battle yet. Now we got to deal with these things. Let's try to charge up an attack. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. No way. Wait, these things can shoot fireballs? Patch is almost dead. No, don't touch Patch. Oh, I just saved you. Let's charge up an attack. Oh, wait a second, I'm knocked out. That's not good. You electricity balls nerd <laughs> oh that is so effective except we're literally about to die let's try to heal up we're just gonna act like I, I didn't i didn't almost die there we're gonna we're gonna act like i totally went through that uh, flawlessly at this point it's so cool because patch is almost like the avatar dragon it has the abilities of ice electricity and also fire and i'm guessing there's even more elements that we can eventually unlock this fog makes this entire thing 10 times more difficult i can barely see where i'm going as it is so I think I could cross right here, except my dude keeps getting hit by them. He has a giant shield too, and he's just not using it. Well, we made it up here. We should be able to knock down this tree in order to get by the next area. And now we can electrocute this, which should hopefully bring up a bridge. It did, let's go. Oh, hey, Astrid. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to buy some more health potions. I keep dying. I don't have enough flowers. That's a problem. I don't have enough flipping flowers. All right, Astrid, I'll be back. I guess you couldn't just be a nice friend and maybe just give stuff to me for free. I guess that would make the game a little bit less boring. Ooh, okay, there's just one guy. It's not like one guy could take down two of us. We outnumber him. Get back, boy. Are you bald, boy? Oh, what's going on? Nice try. <laughs> Wait, what's your back, Patch? Oh, he's frozen, and now I can come in and slice him. Man, dad. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, there's a ton more dragons, too. I need to be really careful because these things hit way faster than the actual dragon tamers that are big and dumb. These guys are fast and furious. So you kind of just need to go in, hit, and then dodge as soon as you possibly can and not get hit by a fireball. Wait, Patch is dead. No way. Okay, let's try to get Patch up. As long as I don't die, it's okay if Patch goes down. It's like a Pokemon. It just kind of faints. Wait, Patch got trapped? Are you joking? Okay, we got rid of both of the dragons, and now it's just this guy. Come on, Patch, it's one more hit. I got it. And we need some more health. Hello, is anybody up here? If you are, please show yourself, because I am I'm I don't like dying. I've almost died a couple times today, and I'm not very proud of it. Oh, that has to be it. Look at it. It's entirely guarded. If I was air, that's probably where I would be hiding out. Or ear. I got, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep calling her ear. Cause she looks like a giant ear. They have some really good traps set up out here. I don't know who did this, but with the fog and all the harpoons, it's like impossible to see where you're going. At least three of the electrification totems. I think this should be one of them. Let's see what this one does. Okay, so we got by the first giant metal cube. It says that the next one should be all the way over here in this direction. Let's see if this works. It did! Let's go, we're doing it. Okay, now there's just one more. And then the final one's right here. Now we can get through. What? There's more? We're getting close to something though. I don't know if you guys saw in the distance, it looked like there was a little bit of like ocean and water. I don't know if maybe we're going towards the middle of the giant mountain in the center, but we're gonna be finding out very shortly. So we should have stick it till the end. Let's see what this thing does. 
All right, I think I maybe just blocked myself off. I can at the very least cross this bridge in order to get down. These things have been overgrown with the dragon vines. Okay, that'll bring them back down. Hopefully, I don't need to keep bringing them back down and up. If I go this way, we can get back up here and roll over to this one. We can boop it. Okay, we booped it. And now I can get across. Wait, so now that this bridge went down, we can go ahead and go through these dragon vines over here. Grow back so fast, though. Oh my, are you kidding? Didn't happen. You guys saw absolutely nothing. Stay down. S stop it. Stop it. Literally stop. Stop growing back. We did it. We actually made it through. Oh my gosh, why do we keep stepping on these pressure plates? That's fine, it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and electrocute this one. Electrocute that one. What did I just do? Was I supposed to do that? I think I was supposed to do that. Okay, cool. Exactly as planned, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, how am I supposed to get by this? We need to run fast. Let's actually switch over to this dude because this guy has a shield and I can maybe try to guard myself. And this should hopefully turn them off. We have another dragon that was taken over. Let's unleash a fireball. Also, let's call in a little bit of backup from Hot Burple. Do your worst, Hot Burple. Yes, yes, <laughs> come on in. Yes, it's working. Okay, looks like we got one of the poison flasks. Hey, what just happened? What just, what just happened? Did we free it? Is my dude dead? He actually died? Okay, let's use a health potion then. Can we just stop losing each other, please? Could everybody just stay alive for a little bit? What? What? There is no way that just happened. Wait, I'm starting to see a pattern in Ear's plans. A method to her madness. It's no coincidence that she set up shop on islands with Bork's ruins. They're the only structures big enough to hide the Titan wings Ear's have been experimenting upon. I guess that makes sense. So she's trying to keep the dragons that she's experimenting on hidden inside of these giant ruins. Yup, and there's another one inside of this ruin. She seems to be getting stronger though, and she's recruiting more and more dragons. So this one could potentially be our toughest battle yet. We, 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 oh, all right. Okay, all right, yeah, we made it inside. This one looks insane. All right, so I think I actually need to cool these down in order to push them. And I might need to heat this one up because this one looks pretty hot. So we're gonna heat this one up. We'll switch over and then we'll need to hammer it into place. And then for this one, we'll need to use Apache's ice ability in order to make it cool down. And then we can plop that one into place. And look at that, we opened the door to the ruins. Let's go through. What is this place, dude? It goes so far down. Why is there a massive dragon? What? So I don't know if you guys saw, that dragon had been taken over by ear. It had the poison around its neck. We need to get down there fast, ladies gentlemen. Oh, uh, uh, how are you always beating me here? Astrid literally is everywhere in every single ruin that I've been to. Well, I guess now that you're here, we might as well go ahead and try to buy some health potions. Yeah, I don't really want to die today. I've taken a lot of damage on these journeys. That's all I had? Okay, I'm gonna need to collect some more flowers. That looks like a really long way down, so we're just not gonna look at it. Okay, if I stand there and then Patch stands there, we open the door and it'll stay open. Okay, cool. We can go through. So we need to get all the way down. It looked like it was at least three layers down in order to get to the giant dragon that's been taken over. Hot floors will need to be cooled down with Patch's ice ability. If you want to walk across them, once cooled, they will heat back up after a few seconds. So be quick. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're gonna hit that with a cheesy. We're gonna hit that with a cheesy. We're gonna smash. No, not that way, this way. And roll. No, it's hot, hot, hot. All right, go over here, we'll smash. No, that's an ax. We gotta smash it with a hammer. All right, cool, we did, we, we, we did that one. Okay, we're gonna have to cool that off there. We'll probably need to cool off all the different areas. All right, we'll cool that off, but they're gonna heat up eventually, so I need to kind of do it very, very quickly and one after the other. All right, so we have that one. It's cooled down. We're gonna plop that. We're gonna plop. Okay, that didn't, that didn't plop at all. Okay, I think it's cooled off. Can I hit it over? Okay, I think I need to actually cool this off as well. We'll cool this off and cool this off. And then bop. All right, cool. We got the one. This is gonna be way more difficult than I thought. Every single ruin that we've been going to in order to try to catch Ear and her dragons has literally been more difficult than the last. All right, so we're gonna plop that one there. Or actually, I guess we can, we can hit that one. And we can plop it down. Plop it down one more time. I don't wanna take damage. We're gonna uh, get that one with a little bit of ice and then we can plop it over one more. And okay, we have them both on the pressure plates. There's only two more. Yay. Do it, we'll do this. This one, plop that. Oh, I think I got all of them, and that'll unlock the lever. So let's see what this does. Yes, it opened the door. Let's go through the door. I see some spikes. Okay, we walk. What? All right. Well, there's just a dragon chilling here. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit dodge and oh my gosh, I just got oh, I, I got I got I got kind of tail whip there. That's fine. Dodge and weave, baby. Oh, nice. Patch frozen. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we knocked it out. Okay, let's destroy this one. Got it. And then there's just one more. One more. Yes, I think we got it. We freed it. Patch, patch, stop, stop, stop trying to kill. It. Stop it. I think we got it. That's right. Fly away, my beautiful baby dragon. Oh, sweet. Cool. That was the only way that we could have gotten out. Be flowers. I got 150 weird meteorites. 
I need flowers, man. Spikes that way. Spikes this way. We are forced to go this way. We are... Oh, how do we... Where do we... Okay, we're gonna hit this lever, right? That'll open the spikies down there. Spikers no spiking anymore. Roll, roll, roly poly. Another dragon is trapped. Oh, I can free it. Let's go. Fly away, buddy. Get out of here. Go back to your mama. Okay, cool. We opened up some more spikes. I don't know if you guys have been looking around, but there are dragon cages everywhere. This has to be where they've been set up. All the dragon tamers and trappers have all basically set up everything here. Okay, I need to hit this lever over there with a fireball, and it worked. Okay, so now we can go up there and hit the next lever. This place is complicated. Not a problem for Beck Pro Lever Smasher. Did I do it? We flippin' did it, baby. Let's cool off this giant meteorite, and we'll plop that, no, plop that, plop that down. Now we can go left to the next area. Plop the booty there, plop the feet there, and now we can roll our way through. Hello, then my home. More puzzles? Not a problem. My brain is massive. It's the size of a cheeseburger. Okay, so since these ones are cold, we're gonna have to cool them off and then smash. Cool it off, hit it with a smash. Sma no, smash. Very nice, very easy. All right, we're gonna smash this one. Smash to the left, smash to the left, smash it up one. And I think I can go this way, and then we'll probably need to hit it maybe down one? Will it stay in the middle? Okay, let's hit that. Hit, never mind. Okay, it does not stay in the middle. It does go that way. And will this go right on the... No, okay, it goes over the pressure plate. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe if I just unlock the middle one, I'll make it less icy. It should stay. Why didn't it stay? Okay, maybe if I... No, okay, I'm gonna need to hit it while it's not frozen. And then it only goes one. Okay, so it doesn't slide over the full amount of ice. I did it so smart. Spank that over there. Yeah, so I get over there, you big boulder. We're gonna hit the lever. That should hopefully unlock the door and then the spikes. You're doing it! All right, we're gonna stand on this. That does not look safe. There's harpoons all the way in the back. That's fine. We're gonna roll, roll. Oh my gosh. Okay, now if I stand on this, it should deactivate the harpoons or no, I could just go right past the pressure plates. Let's get Scribbler over there. Big bear Scribble. Scribbly, scribbly. So now we can go down this staircase to the next level and we're getting closer to the dragon. All righty, what's up everybody? How's it going? Why are you guys just chilling here? This dude's kitted out. He's got a lot of armor. I'm taking damage every single time I hit him. All right, let's get the axe thrown lady. Please do not throw axes at me. Come on. Yes, okay, one lady down. Let's get the other lady. Hello, lady, dead lady. This guy throws stuff as well. He throws like poison bombs. How am I supposed to kill this guy? Okay, Patch is definitely perfect for this job. This dude's standing there like a statue and he's dead now. He didn't do anything. Let's see what we unlocked. Oh, three baby dragons and three chests. Okay, let's go up there and free them. How do I get up there? Um, is there a way to get up there? I'm literally trapped down here. There's no way to get up to them. Maybe if I go up through this door, we can get to them. Okie dokie, another puzzle. Let me just put on my, never mind, my thinking cap is already on. All right, cool. So we're gonna switch over to our war hammer here, and we need to try to, I guess, get every single one of these pressure plates to be filled up with the cube. Okay, we got one. We got two there. That'll be three, four, five, six, seven, and this will be the last one, number eight. Easy peasy. That's, that was the easiest thing I've ever done. I'm kind of glad that was easy because it seems like later on in today's episode, we are going to have to fight a massive dragon. And also at the same time, for those of you guys that have been watching the series, you know that Patch is slowly getting older. In each episode, he's basically evolved way faster than he should be. This is where the baby dragons are. All right, little dudes, we got them. Bye, welcome. I accept payment in cookies. We got 10,000 meteorites, one health potion ocean and 10,000 other meteorites. Not entirely sure why I said 10,000. It literally said 100. Ooh, little chicken. Chicken eaten. Chicken was actually flowers. Whoa. There's lava everywhere. We gotta be extra careful here. Wait, did we make it down? There might be one more level. Dude, it's literally right there. Okay. I'm not scared. It's right down below us. How am I supposed to get down to it? There's a lever right here. Let's see what it does. Oh, it opened the main door right there. Oh, sweet. We just found an extra heart and a little baby dragon. Don't worry, little guy. What's this? Well played, Patch. It looks like we've intercepted... Wait, another of Air's old messages? This is really, really, really good. Little Storm, by the time you read this, I will already be long gone with your experiment and my investment. I know, I know. You want to curl your metal fist and curse my name to the gods. Who wouldn't? But the dragon we've developed is simply too valuable to waste on exterminating the Drago blood vis of the world. There's opportunity in this misbegotten beast. At least, there will be once I figured out a way to stop it from hatching and dying of old age within a week. So I'm taking it to a place that might have the remedy I seek, an island of scrolls. I hope to learn what its inhabitants know about dragons, just as I hope you've learned an important lesson. Never trust anyone, especially me. G. This is the G from the last episode that we learned. G betrayed ear. 
That's why she doesn't trust anybody. That makes sense. And they were trying to make their own Chimera Dragon just like Patch, but for whatever reason, it ages too fast. That's important information. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What? That man's been eating way too many cookies. Um, bro, this dude wakes up, eats cookies, goes to sleep, eats cookies, wakes up, eats cookies. This is, that's ear. It's a crimson gore cutter. It's literally one of the most endangered dragon species. You'll be surprised how far I'll go in the name of science and revenge, especially when you have nothing left to lose. I feel so bad for her. Well, we know what Draco Bloodlust did to your family. I'm sorry for your losses, ear. All of them. But this won't bring them back. It won't help. Everything I have done, part with those trappers and that traitor's G. It was all worth it. I created a true miracle of science, a dragon unlike any other. Together, we will go to rid the world of all of my enemies, ensuring that no little girls will ever have to witness their father's death. This is so sad. Don't you see, Ear? You are no better than the warlords you hate so much. Taking whatever you want, treating dragons like tools, and hurting anyone who gets in your way. I'm nothing like them! I will succeed where they have failed, and I will rid this world of those like them. You and your rapidly aging patch will be no match for my mighty gourd cutter. Are we about to fight? I guess we are. Ladies and gentlemen, wish me luck. Smash like, hit subscribe, let's do this. I am slightly terrified. So what happens if I hit this? Okay, that'll open up. What is that? What is that? Okay, we need to somehow get a little bit closer here. We can go up this side. Oh, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, we need to use Patch's ability in order to maybe hit that electrocution over there. Okay, we got it. Yes, it did damage. Perfect. Okay, good job, Patch. Now we need to go back to the other side. Come on, come on, run. No, get back in. No, get some more hits off. No! Oh, we got one! Yes, let's go! Okay, we need to just get one more! No, 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 Okay, we need the Warhammer out. We need to hit it all the way over to the other side. Patch, would you please stop getting hit? I got hit! This is intense! Come on! This dragon doesn't even know that it's fighting for the wrong side! Okay, we got that down. Roll, 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 baby, roll. We're so close! It's cracking! Yes, we got both of them! Now, what's gonna happen? What is going on? It is raining fireballs down. It went down! Wait, we can get this one! Come on! Come on! Yes! We got all of them! It shouldn't be under the control of ear anymore. Beyond lies the final showdown against Ear. If you continue, you will not be able to revisit any other regions or side islands, as well as upgrade your weapons. No progress will be saved beyond this point. She does not look happy. I, I can't. Everything and everyone I've lost. If I don't succeed, then it'll all have been for nothing. I feel so bad for her. You listen to me. You can change. You can help people. Just not like this. Help me now. Help me find a way to save Patch. Help me stop his rapid aging. All right, by the way, if you guys haven't been following the series, Patch is rapidly aging. He is going to die very shortly from old age, even though he's only like a week old. What if I could? What if there was a way to stop his aging right now? Would you do it? My orbs would stabilize his aging. Patch would never age another day. But we can't do that because that would make Patch a slave. Drive him insane like the other dragons that we've fought and that we've experimented on. There's no reason to do that. What kind of life is that? The choice is simple. Do you want to see your dragon live on, but with me? Or would you rather keep Patch and watch him die? Well, I want Patch to live, but what you're offering isn't really a life. However, it's not really my choice. I'm not Patch's master. I'm his friend. It's his choice. Patch, what do you want to do? Don't do it, Patch. Don't do it. Whatever you do, don't do it. Also, I guess this means that Patch really can understand English. That's good. Well, it looks like Patch has rejected the offer from here. He will not become a slave. So be it. If you will not come willingly, then I will take you by force. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. All right. She's going insane. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. If we can finally trap Ear, we don't have to worry about any other dragons being under her spell. She's down in the middle. Let's do this. Oh, my gosh. She does a lot of damage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. What? Let's bust out the axe. The axe is definitely better for this. How is she making giant stones fall out of the sky? Patch, get up. Patch, we need to keep moving. Can I shoot it from here? No, she's just a little bit too high. That's fine, Bob and Weave. Dodge, dodge, Patch. Patch, you're doing an awful job dodging here. Oh my gosh, she does a lot of damage. It's fine, wait, we have her down so much. No, there's a giant rock. How does she not get affected by the rock? I got concussed. Her head is made of steel. It's fine, we gotta just keep rolling. Roly poly. Do it, do it, do it, do it. 
Rock it, do it, do it, do it. Twist it, bop it, hit it, lock it. Smash her in the locket. Yes! We took her down. She got back up. She got back up. Nah, not cool. Okay, we're gonna use one of our health potions. Dude, wait, she's going crazy now. She's throwing out way more fire bombs. And also ice bombs too. As long as I keep moving around though, it looks like she's not that accurate. There we go. Okay, she's moving around now. Oh, that stuff knocks me out. And I can't even call help for my other dragons. Let's try to summon in giant meteors from Patch. It does so much damage. That's the new play. Oh, the electrocution bombs. I see you've been working on your crafts. It's not a problem though. Becca bro, roly poly will roll to victory. Get your butt over here. Come on. Yes, no. Oh, I got knocked out. Come on, Patch. Finish it. Yes, we knocked her down again. That's it, right? She got back up again. No, 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 That's not supposed to happen. See, I get knocked down and I'm dead. She gets knocked down and she's like, ah, no, we're gonna brush that off. Just a simple flesh wound. We're gonna get back up and we're gonna keep trying to kill everybody and everything that I've ever loved. She's back down for some more. I'm gonna switch over to Patch because these insanely powerful fireball meteors did so much damage. Look at it. I can fire them from anywhere. Except she does a lot more damage to Patch than she does to Scribbler. We're so close. Is he gonna do it? Yes, we did it. Patch actually took her out. She got back up again. Again? This place is gonna collapse any minute. Ear, come with us. Come on. It's not too late. We can still escape. I shall soon join you in Valhalla, father. No, no. It doesn't have to be like this. No, no. She fell. We gotta get out of here. We can't worry about her. We gotta go. Oh my, what just happened? How did she get up so many times? I guess she didn't make it. Ear decided that she didn't want to join us and that she was too far gone. I guess that's kind of what happens sometimes. You can only be betrayed so many times before you lose trust in other people. It's so sad. I honestly thought that we had a chance to maybe save her. All right, well, I guess we need to go back to Havenholm. Let's see exactly where that is. Okay, we need to go in this direction. There's still so many different areas that I haven't explored. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have enjoyed this series, please go ahead and leave a like. Also subscribe. There's tons more areas we could explore and I'm sure tons more dragons that, that we can maybe find. Well, we only just made it out of there without everything collapsing on top of us. Um, I guess we should probably send a message back to Hiccup and let him know that we're on our way. Hiccup, I'm sending this terror mail in advance of our return to Haven Home to let you know Patch and I are still alive, but we failed. We couldn't save Ear, and any of the answers she had about our past are now buried along with her. I also wanted to warn you, Ear had a partner, one who ultimately stabbed her in the back. He sounds dangerous. I wish I could tell you his name, but my memory's still impaired. All I can give you is his first letter. G. So we didn't figure out a way to save Patch. Patch is still going to age extremely fast and there's nothing we can do about it. She wasn't all that bad though. Ear was the one that created Patch in the first place. I honestly thought that there was still some good left in her. Wait, what's happening to Patch? Wait, no. Patch? Wait, wait, no. Patch, we're so close. Patch is getting really old. We have to make it back to Havenholm. We're so close. Look, all the dragons are free now. We're all flying around. We did it, Patch. We did it. We saved everybody. If Patch, if Patch can't make it, I might cry. We gotta land to the campground. Don't worry, Patch, we're here. We made it back down. Patch, are you okay? Oh, Patch seems fine. Yeah, we're, we're still able to do a lot of things. Oh, it's everybody. Traveler, Patch, we got your terror mail. I knew you'd make it back. So did Toothless. That's good. Thank you for the confidence, Toothless. We couldn't save her hiccup. We tried to show her a different way. Ultimately, she was too far gone. Too obsessed with vengeance. Feels like we failed. And we kind of did, because we didn't even figure out a way to save Patch. We did save countless dragons from her control, and both you and Patch made it back alive together. So I guess we'll call that a victory. Now you and Patch can take some well-deserved time away from adventuring to relax together. I don't know how much time Patch has left, though. No! Please, no! Patch! Why is this happening now? Can't deal with this, man. <sighs> please get up. Please get up. What happened, Scribbler? I'm so sorry. Toothless and the other dragons can sense it already. Patch doesn't have that much time left. Wait, what's that? Another... Wait, another Terramel? Please, what does it mean? What does it mean? Wait, it's a location. Somebody circled a location. And there's 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 different coordinates on it. I don't know what it means. I don't understand. Wait, this looks like Ears Research. How or when could she have sent it? Wait, did she survive? And there's a bewildered beast-shaped island. That's Vanaheim. It's the final resting place of all dragons, where we should take Patch. Um, Patch is still alive. Patch is really old though. Patch, okay, did we make it? Patch is barely alive right now. I, this can't be happening. This, this cannot be happening right now. Patch, please. I just want to say thank you, my friend. Thank you for everything. This just got really sad really fast and I'm not used to this. I normally play happy games. There is nothing you could have done. Wait, something's happening. Come on, Patch. What? Last time I checked, boy dragons don't lay eggs. Where did it come from? Where's Patch? Wait, what if the egg is Patch? 
It's not a new Chimera Dragon Egg at all. Wait, what if the Titan Wing who first took me to Havenholm was Patch himself? Of course, Patch must have sacrificed himself to save you from the fire, then when you were unconscious, reverted back to an egg. Wait, is it, it's, it's hatching? What is happening? It's moving. The egg is moving. Wait, this happened at the, literally the first episode. The hatch. What? It's a new patch. It's a baby patch. He's back. Let's go. You're alive. But he's a baby again, but he's alive. Wait, is it the same dragon as before? It, wait, what? Wait, wasn't yeah, it wasn't patch a different color? Legs once told me about a species that can change colors. Maybe that's what happened to patch. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just happy to have my best friend back or at least a chance to become best friends again. Wait, I wonder if Patch even remembers me. Well, I guess we always have room on Burke for another dragon and their rider. Actually, what? What is it, Gobber? Uh, what? What happened? Thank you for the offer, Hiccup, but I think Patch and I have more to do. My pass is still unclear, and if Ear is out there, she must have discovered a cure for Patch's aging. Together, Patch and I can use this new life and everyone that might follow to help others, both humans and dragons, as we search for answers. Patch is so cute now! Well, it sounds like you two still have quite the adventure to come. Remember, you can always come to us for help. Always. Well, this isn't necessarily farewell. It's a new adventure. A new beginning. We'll take it one day at a time. We did it! Patch is alive! DreamWorks Dragons at Dawn of the New Riders. Ooh, this game was a lot. I was not expecting it to be so well done. And by the end, I honestly, I thought we lost Patch. I was about to cry. I hope you guys did enjoy. It looked like there was still a lot more to do and there's still a lot more answers out there. I don't know if there's going to be a sequel or if we're able to go back in this game and sort of explore even more areas. Guys, if you do want to see some other games, leave some suggestions in the comments down below. Smash like with your pinky finger. It'll only work with your pinky finger. And hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And you'll never miss out on a brand new video. That's going to wrap it up. My name is Beckbro, Chief of Dragons. And I'll see you guys next time.